Good morning. Welcome to Hickory Creek Baptist Church Online. This is our sunrise service, and we are so delighted that you chose to worship with us. We hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Please join us again at 1045 when we celebrate our resurrection service in the auditorium. I'm Maxwell. I'm here at the sunrise service, and it's a beautiful morning. We're going to celebrate the Lord's resurrection coming out of 10. But we're going to, this morning, we're going to pray for the service. If you join me, wherever you are, brothers and sisters, join me in prayer, please. Father, Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us, Lord, a day that you, um, that we celebrate your 
resurrection, and you're walking out of that grave, Lord, defeating death and sin for us. And Lord, I just pray that this morning as we as we worship you, as we as we look we look in the scriptures, we look back at your resurrection and we we celebrate, we celebrate that, Lord, that our entire faith hinges on this very thing. You're exiting the grave, Lord. And I just pray that this service would be a blessing, that you'd be lifted up. I pray that whoever's uh, wa uh, watching this online, that their hearts would be changed. And if, you're, if you don't know uh, Jesus as Lord, that today would be the day that we would realize that, you, that we're sinners and we need a Savior. He went to the cross. He paid for your sins. Uh, he bled and died, and he went into the grave, and he came out of it. And uh, he's the only one. Out of all the faiths around the world, he's the only one that came out of the grave, defeated death. And Lord, so I just I pray that um, that whoever hears this, to not say, Lord, that they would accept. And uh, Lord, just uh, be with this uh, message. So this morning, the pastor is going to bring, Lord, and may, be, may penetrate our hearts, may change our hearts, and change our lives. May, we, may our lives reflect you, Lord, and, and um, in your word. And I just give you thanks today in Jesus' name. Welcome to our annual sunrise service at Hickory Creek Baptist Church. I always look forward to our annual sunrise service. Such an exciting time, such a beautiful time, and we're delighted to be able to meet with you this Easter Sunday, even though you're not present, but we thank you for tuning in to the services. I always look forward to reading the account of the resurrection. In the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, I'm going to read verses 1 through 12. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came into the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanne and Mary, the mother of Jesus, the other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles. And their words seemed to them as I will tell and they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulchre and stooping down he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed wandering in himself at that which was come to pass may i tell you that the truth of the resurrection is not just in these verses alone in the gospel of luke but really the truth of the resurrection is found throughout the entire bible the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. In the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 14, Job asked this question, if a man dies, shall he live again? And I believe that God gave him a divine revelation revealing to him about his Redeemer, which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because in chapter 19, verses 25 through verse 27, Job makes this declaration. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand in the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. 
whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold and not another, though my reins be consumed within me. And then in the New Testament, Jesus always referred to himself in the present tense. You remember when he went to the grave of his beloved friend Lazarus, and you find that Mary and Martha were weeping, and they desired to be comforted by Jesus. They were confused. And I think maybe there was a bit of anger in their heart because they said, Lord, if you would have been here, our brother wouldn't have died. But you remember how Jesus answered? He said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. What a great truth that is. And in the book of Revelation, Jesus never refers to himself in past tense. In the book of Revelation, we have the words of Jesus and he says, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Praise God, Jesus Christ is risen.
kids will be singing Jesus Loves Me from their various locations around the city. Well, that is if we can keep their attention. We're going to be singing Jesus Loves Me, hymn number 185. Yeah, let's do this. Father in heaven, Lord, we thank you for being our God and being our Lord. Lord, we pray for our president. Be with him. Give him the strength and courage. And give him the rest that he needs, Lord, to continue on and fight this battle. And we know that you're in the forefront of it all, Lord. And it's ultimately it's up to you what happens with our nation. But we do pray to you, Lord, that you would be with us. Lord, and just heal our land and be with our people, be with the sick that are suffering, Lord. We thank you for everything, God. We thank you for dying on the cross and rising again. Be with all of our church members, Lord. Be with the ones that aren't feeling well. We pray, Lord, that you would just be with them. Bless them, Lord. Bless our church and continue to be with us. And help us to be a shining light in this community, Lord. We thank you for everything, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 